Uh, hi, I'm going to do a walkthrough of the tune for Ghost Riders in the Sky, but this is in, uh, the, it's the equivalent of a double C minor tuning, but I'm actually down a bit lower than that to help with the singing. I can't get the PIOs high enough if I play in a different key. So this is probably double B flat minor. So we turn it to double C, and then um, e instead of tuning your first string, to the same note as the second fret on the second string, you tune it to the third fret on the second string. That gives you an open um, minor chord, and, and I'm in B flat, so that's or thereabouts. That's my fourth, third, second, and then first and fifth. The fifth should be the same as the fourth fret on the first string in this tuning. And then the tune goes like this. really the chorus is is easy and just some chords and I'll show you that later on but it, and it's a short chorus as well that's the UPIOs basically um, anyway so how does it start it starts up here on the open third string and then goes to the open second string and second fret and then third fret open second and then this chord um, is the third fret on everything except the first string. If you wanted, and you can just leave the, th the first string open, that's fine. And then the same again. Upon a ridge he rested as, but then this time you go up, up to the fifth fret. As he went along his way, went along his way. That's the seventh fret on the second string, and then the seventh fret on the first string. And then it's the seventh fret on the second string. A part of fear went through him. So that's the uh, seventh fret on the second to the ninth on the first. A part of fear went through him as they thundered through the sky. Thundered. So that's the seventh fret on the second string. Through fifth fret, third fret, sky. Saw the riders coming hard. This is third fret, fourth string, second. No, oh, sorry, first fret, third string. Everything else open. That's a lovely, nice chord. I have no idea what it is. Um, right. Except it's it's the sixth scale. I don't know. Um, so, an old cowboy went riding out one dark and stormy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw ranged across the ragged sky. An upper cloudy draw. And what I do there, it's the third fret, second string. Upper, upper cloudy draw. So you pull off to open second string, and then it's the third fret on the third string. Upper cloudy draw. And then, so let's see where we've got to. I think that's the whole of the verse. And old cowboy went riding out on dark and stormy day. On a ridge he rested as he went. Once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw Ranged across the wreck 
ragged sky and up a cloudy draw. Now how it works, you do two verses and you do a chorus and then you do two verses and then you do two choruses and then you finish. So, um, so after the second verse you go into the chorus and the chorus is just goes into that chord again which is third fret third fret third fret no frets right, so it's So that's third fret, fourth string, first fret, third string, open, open. Ghost riders in the sky. Quite often, my hands, my right hand's doing the same thing all the way through. Totally, but pretty much. So, the right hand. It, and let's see if we can see that a bit better here. So, that's the just a downstroke on the third string. And then a downstroke on the second string, and then a ditty. song in this tuning which I think is nicer than playing it in I play, normally play it in standard G but with an A minor chord on all the time and that's it makes it a little bit harder to play and and for me I need a capo on that and sometimes it's nicer just having a deeper lower instrument this is an old banjo that can't really go much higher than where I am now anyway it's a, a Wayman um, from about 1910 but uh, yeah that's that's that Hope you play it, hope you sing it, uh, have some fun, cheers. <laughs>